Okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to test this new graphics card here that I plugged in. Um, down at the bottom, eh? It's an RTX uh, Tough Gaming Asus. And uh, I've got the old one here that's unplugged. It's an MSI RTX. Uh, and both uh, RTX 4090. Um, this one's water cooled on the top, but uh, that's what I had running before. I just unplugged it so that I can test this one. And that's just gonna sit there up top and hopefully do nothing and hopefully not fall off or anything. Just gonna sit there. It's pretty sturdy. And I plug this power in. Sometimes these electrical connectors, look at that. They're like four wires plugged into one tiny little thing. Um, I heard sometimes they like, overheat and they catch fire on these 49s. So we'll see. All I gotta do is plug us in and start up. Hopefully, it should get a, a you know, display on my monitor here and we could get in. Alright, so there's a moment of truth. We're gonna get everything plugged in. We flip the switch for some reason. But this switch, there's a light on the TV. It's like, it doesn't seem right, but okay. I'm gonna pair it up. It's actually doing nothing. This side is nothing. This fan starts spinning at idle speeds. So that's normal. But as long as we got a display, we're cooking. Let's see what we got here. Got a display. This is a TV slash monitor. Well, the same thing on oh, well, the TV and the using of the monitor. So it takes a while for the signal to come. There it is. Woo! Kind of, kind of like makes you wait. Yeah. So, alright, this play works. Maybe we got a game with it for a little bit just to see what's, you know. What's going on? Uh, it works. So now basically I can unplug it and, uh, you know, and start. Uh, Alright, so the new car seems to be warmed up now. Fans are spinning. Everything seems to be running alright. Yeah, running Baldur's Gate 3. Verified it works, uh, card works, so we're gonna remove it and reinstall the old card. And then we're gonna take the uh, heat sink off of this one and all those three fans, remove all that junk, and put a CPU water block on uh, the board. It's gonna cover the uh, GPU and Memory. This one works this bad boy. There we go. Sometimes the LED on the RAM slots get a little bit weird. Trying to log in with it just take my hand. Started up. Right, that should work fine. Load of this. Load of this bad boy.
description says number pad slash well WASD pinned these sort of keys but are transcribed down here with a few functions at the top is my volume setting typically lower the volume raise the volume and hang my headphones over here your little cord so I can There we go, I'm gonna miss the glider. Back up and running, working like a charm. This thing works beautifully. I love this case too. The H-Y-T-E, the height, the height case. Yeah. And look how much smaller that water-cooled MSI RTX 4090 Supra looks as opposed to the 4090 Asus tough you know with all the three fans it's just too much I think it I think it's too goddamn on big it's like this case as you can see will fit it but barely and I don't know it's just a good case to like Test out a 4090 if you need to before you put it in your water cooled system. So that's kind of yeah, one of the purposes of building this machine. All right, now we've reached a point where we have basically gotten down to the cooler and the board, and the CPU and the brains there. Now. We take off a couple of pieces here. We take off the back plate. And we take off the fans and drone. So now we just gotta take off the actual cooler. It's gonna be a trap because when you take off a little sticker or damage it in any way. What you have to do to remove this cooler, well, you avoid the warranty. You can send it back. So that's why we made sure our card was good before we didn't do anything crazy. I do want to make a note that this little screwdriver that they sent with the card that doubles as like a GPU support or like prop up kind of device it came in handy taking all those screws off for the fan shroud and the back plate because it's exactly the right size to fit those screw heads but then you get to this part those are different size so I'm going to switch screwdrivers here so I'm going to get a screwdriver so I'm just going to go ahead and take care of this thing Still one at a time, real slowly. One, two, three quarter turns. I've been doing this for a while. One, two, three quarter turns. Wasn't graceful or pretty, 
but <laughs> it is attached. Alright, so this is our water block for a GPU. Super chilled Corsair. Easy to open. Very nice packaging. Look at it. Okay, now you got out of focus here. Hold on. I'm gonna take this from the back. I guess. Oh, oh, look at all that crazy magic going on there. Now, my question is. Does this setup match the card perfectly? Let's see. Here's our card. We need the light on. We yeah, might need the light. All right. See, so here's our card. All right. Now, this is obviously gonna go on like this. So we need to look at it. Like, okay. There's right. Okay. I mean, it looks, looks like it. Wait. I don't think it concerns me. It's just out here. That's supposed to hit that row. And then this hits what? These gray ones? This You know, the screws are going to line up, but it seems like they have all of the same things. This, this scuffler kind of stuff. Uh, this, uh, like, four and a quarter. We'll see. Alright, so the stock paste on this thing. It's a little... Oh, I would say... Lacking. It's just such a thin, thin, thin layer. But it does, you know, it is there. I don't know if I should trust it. I, I don't know. This um, piece that this came with, like, it just seems like a lot more um, on there. Like, you know, it's very goopy. That's the kind of paste that I usually use. Damn, my chip's covered in the dirt. It's gonna take a lot of Actually, for a really simple procedure, all I'm gonna do is unscrew this side panel over right here and flip off the cap, and then I literally, uh, you know, I just you know, turn this panel upside down, and the reservoir drains. Uh, Alright, this is the part I thought I might need two people for one person to roll the camera. But at the risk of making a mask, I'm gonna do this by myself. It's gonna go around like 
like this. And then this. Or just like that. And then from there, there's a brand new pump too. I don't want to park on a brand new pump. The reservoir is not new. Same reservoir, but pump went out after like five years. Pop the new one in. Here we go, here we go. Ooh, we get it, we get it, we get it, we get it. Ooh. Oh. Oh, we got it. Not on my floor. I meant not on my floor. I'm just gonna let you guys watch this. Watch the magic happen. She's completely upside down here. Pretty much empty. I think I'm. Usually I leave it here for just like a few hours, we'll figure out what I'm gonna do. First of all, I can cut this in. Yeah, I was done. I think the most difficult part was just simply getting, uh, you know, squishing the side panel against the case to get it to go back on. Because, you know, these wires be pushing you up in the middle of the gun. Hard wires stuck behind, behind the back of the Alright, so this is sort of how you have to operate this while you're working on this PC. This is here, and I just got to sit on a chair underneath. Oh, this I think I got any more in there because it's really careful what to do to keep you up off of this way, so try to take it out. And I can see the water bottled in there. Oh, no. Alright, there we go. We got the old GPs out. And then we got the kids, like it's a man in the league. And I plug it back in. I was pretty sure. I'm getting the moisture. The board inside the case here on the board. But we'll see. I got this how this is sort of plugged up with the rag for now. But uh, the next step is attach the uh, the water block onto the new card. But I think I'm gonna do that and then just sort of wait a few days. Make sure that any can, if any droplet of moisture got into the uh, down into the board there, mother board, you know, have time to evaporate, time to dry. And, you know, in a few days, we'll just put a I'm right hand by the way. Maybe I should switch. Up a little pop up, pop up, pop up a little bit. I just took all the original thermal paste that came with the water block, took that off, and now uh, you know, wiped it with the 
mint-free cloth with some 90% isopropyl alcohol. This thing should be ready to go right on there. So now we got power supply, which basically I just plugged in by itself. And I'm using the EVGA, you know, end cap on the motherboard connector cable. So I'm just gonna flip this power switch and the fan should turn right on. There we go. And then power supply is working. Now we're gonna use this to power the water pump to circulate the water to your system without actually having electrical power to the component. That's important, very important step. I'm gonna use this little tube here uh, to sort of breach the, the air gap between the outside of this environment and the inside of the environment so the water goes in smoothly without any issues. There you see it coming through. There we go, now. I had to pinch that straw down in there the way this pump cap work reservoir cap works. I don't know if you can see the tube coming through. You know. That way, you know, water comes uh air comes through there. Right, I just wanna comment real quick on like how nicely, beautifully this is filling right here. Because that little straw. Now I'm just gonna turn it on, and hopefully my two year old doesn't scream or do anything. He's in another room doing goodness what with a bill. There he is. Should be stuck in water. Suck that water down. And I don't see any leaks, so we're gonna start Go ahead and refill on this system. So it's completely full. Jump it off. Starting to look good. I when I saw it drain off a little bit into the block. That radiator should be empty too, so I feel like it's got to suck down a lot more. I guess it's down. Oh man, it's gurgling though. Is it even, is it? You it? Okay, we're getting there. It's starting to collect some of the blue from the still left in the radiator from the previous um, reservoir pumps like making less noise I think it had running a lot of air running through there and it sounded like really bad and then like I turned it off and on and it like sucked it all the way down there I gotta add more water to the system <laughs> 